Conan Exiles is far from a bug-free game. Many issues can pop up ranging from minor to severe, and oftentimes being able to safely back up and recover your saves is a valuable tool to have. Not only for bugs, but just for the ease and safety of having multiple save games. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to back up and restore your saves. This guide is for the Steam platform on PC, and though some of the directories may be different to get to the files we need, this method might work for Epic Games or Xbox on PC, though I can't confirm it myself. This method unfortunately will not work for consoles, though people more informed on how consoles work may be kind enough to leave information about it in the comments, so make sure to check. To back up our saved files, we just need a few folders, preferably on a different drive than the one you have Conan saved on, just in case. To find your save files, firstly right click on Conan here in Steam, go to Manage and Browse Local Files. This will pop up the Conan Exiles directory in your Steam folder, which should be in Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Conan Exiles. From here you'd go to Conan Sandbox, and then down to Saved, and these are all your relevant files here. For this particular save I'm on, I don't have any data that is from the Isle of Siptar, however if I did it would be called DLC Siptar, any of these named Game are all from the Exile Lands, and modded maps will usually have their own designation, for example here Savage Wilds is called Savage Wilds underscore game. One other file you may need is come back here to Conan Sandbox, and then go to Mods, and this here is the mod list. If you don't use mods you can leave it alone, but if you do use mods you will need it, especially if you alternate between mods on different saves. From here you want to create a new folder titled Conan Save Backup. I already have that saved on my desktop, you can create it wherever you want outside of the Conan Exiles folder, I would highly recommend putting it on a different drive than Conan is installed on, just to be safe. To back up our files we want to go back to the saved folder here, simply select everything, copy it with Ctrl C, and then come over here into the relevant folder, I'm going to go into save data 1, and paste it in there. I'm also going to come back here to the mods folder, I'm going to grab the mod list and I'm going to throw it in there as well. And that is our save data backed up. Do keep in mind that these files here in the backup will not be updated if we continue to play on this save game here. Therefore in the future if you want to update this backup and make sure that you retain all your latest buildings and character progression and such, simply get rid of this old data and then replace it with the updated data from the game folder. If you need to back up multiple saves, like I've done here, make sure you create multiple save folders, you can name them appropriately or just name them save data 1, 2 etc. If you're doing stuff like different mods, different build projects, I would definitely name them differently. This process is easy, but if you have to do it 4 or 5 times to get the right save file, it's not so fun. Once you've got your files backed up, if you would like to create a new save game, it's pretty simple. Double check your files are backed up here, always double check they're backed up, and then come back here into the save folder, select everything apart from the config file, and then simply just delete the items inside. If you then open Conan, it will essentially act as if it's the first time you've ran the game, you'll be able to create a new save, a new character, and none of the previous data of builds, levels, anything like that will be retained, you essentially start fresh. That being said, if you keep the config folder intact, you won't lose any of your settings, and of course this doesn't affect official servers or anything like that, all their data is stored separately. So we've just loaded back in, you'll notice if I click on single player and click play in single player, I don't have the option to continue. That is completely expected because I don't have any save data. Seeing as we now started a new game, the saved folder will start to repopulate new game saves. This is where the data of this save will be stored and it should become clear how these sorts of things work. If you want to back these files up eventually too, it's the same process as described earlier. Now if you want to restore an old save, it's pretty easy to do. Firstly, get back to your save folder in your Conan files, again you can get to it easily by right clicking Conan in Steam, Manage, Browse Local Files. If you have game data here that you wish to keep, again back it up as shown before. In this example I'll take this game data here, and I'll just put it in save data too. When you're ready to restore a different save, as always, double check your data is backed up, and then clear and then clear everything here apart from the config. Also, if your mod selection is different to your backup, of course delete your modlist.txt file in the mods folder too. Let's head back to the backups folder, and we'll choose the save data we wish to restore, 
In this case, it's save data one. Copy the contents of the backup, and then just paste it back into the game save file. If you're replacing things that already have names, like for example the config, then it will ask if you want to replace or skip, just replace them. In this case, I didn't need to because I pretty much only ever use one mod, but if you need to bring your mod list over, come back to Conan Sandbox, mods, and then get rid of this mod list, and replace it with the one that we had in here. Now we're back on the main menu, and you can see we have the option to continue, so I'll do that now. And when we pop back into the world, we are exactly on the save we were before, that we had safely backed up and then restored. If you need to back this up again in the future and restore a different save, again as I mentioned earlier, back up the updated files from the game's save data, and then repeat the process to either clear and create a new file or restore a different backup. Being able to back up your Conan Exile saves is vital for getting around bugs, testing mods, alternative playthroughs and all that other sort of stuff. I'll be honest, this is a little bit of an imprecise approach. Everyone knows I'm not the most technically minded person out there, so I might be grabbing files you don't exactly need to back up, but I've been running this method of backing up files for a while and it's never failed me. Furthermore, you shouldn't need hopefully too much disk space. My save game from around 2020, I think, has a metric ton of data, and even then the entire save folder is less than one gigabyte in size. It's fairly easy to back up your save files, but I was really surprised there wasn't much information about actually doing it, so I thought I'd make a guide to hopefully help people out. As of early December, there is currently a bug in Conan where load times for old saves are incredibly long, we're talking multiple hours of loading. This has hit me pretty hard, as it has multiple people in my Discord and on the forums. Being able to back up that save and create a new one actually worked to get around that issue. I still retain the save data I need later, but I can still play the game as normal on a fresh save. My hope is that when the issue is fixed, hopefully restoring the broken save data back in and verifying my files through Steam should fix it permanently. Anyway, that wraps us up for today with this guide about how to back up your saves in Conan. If there's anything important I've missed or vital information for people on platforms not covered in this guide that will want to back up their saves, please do comment them below. I'll be using the pinned comment to collate the important information too in case people need more info that I wasn't able to provide here. Thank you for watching and of course a massive thanks to our wonderful esteemed coffee cultists for continuing to support the channel over on Patreon. If you want to see videos early and support the channel directly consider joining us over on Patreon, link in the description and pinned comments. Take care and I'll see you soon.